Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. We begin the news tonight at 11 with a school district trying to keep parents informed while rumors fly on social media. All revolving around an incident last Monday at Dearborn's Fordson High School that has led to suspensions, a police investigation, and then student protests. Jason Colthorpe live at Fordson High School tonight. Jason, what's the superintendent saying about all this? Boy, he's really trying to keep control of this uh, whole situation and having a tough time. He's calling this reality, not a reality show. But unfortunately, the unfortunate reality is he is uh, that this is, like we said, spinning out of control. And now video of this alleged naked locker room beatdown has gotten online along with some of the students' names with no regard for their privacy. Let me make it clear. The students involved exhibited behaviors that we will not tolerate in this district. The Dearborn superintendent speaking to the board tonight about the incident that students say involved three members of the Fordson JV football team who assaulted a freshman player in the locker room. As soon as it came to our attention, administration was on it, investigating. We had students removed from you know, the school almost immediately. We've been in contact with the Dearborn police from the start. Because of that social media frenzy that's fired up students and parents, Glenn Maleko says he's trying to be transparent, but the district's hands are tied. You know, I think people are out there and they are, we can't share information. They want to know more. Well, unfortunately, you know, we're bound by law, state law. We have minors involved. I spoke with three Fords and seniors who want to remain anonymous, but also wanted to hear the superintendent speak tonight. I'm glad that he addressed it and I'm glad that something's happening with it. However, I would have liked to have known more about what the steps they're going to be taking to prevent something like this happening in the future. They're worried a few boys are casting a big shadow over all Dearborn schools, and if it's not addressed internally with students, this could happen again. So I feel like a safe learning environment should be a guarantee that I should receive, you know? And right now it doesn't feel like it that. Doesn't, it feels threatened. Mm, yeah. Because that could happen to anyone. Now, there has been a lot of positivity with this. Uh, the students say they've uh, seen a lot of unity with a lot of the Dearborn High Schools coming together on this, not just within their school. And the superintendent also says he's had a lot of parents reach out that are also uh, positive in all this and appreciate what he's trying to do with getting this information out. Kimberly? Dan Jason, as far as the investigation goes, where does that stand tonight? Well, we can only confirm that there is one and uh, both the district and police playing it very close to the vest simply because it involves juveniles, but we will be following that as it progresses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, keep us posted, Jason. Thanks.